Hello, my beautiful people of God. How are you all doing? I believe God that everyone is doing great. Hallelujah. My returning subscribers, God will definitely reward you. Thank you so much. And if you're new here, you are welcome. Please endeavor to subscribe to this channel to support my sister. That's all I ask. Turn on the bell for more notification and God will reward you. Thank you so much. In today's video, I want to share with you what Bishop David Oyedepo said concerning his experience while he was trusting God for a partner. I'm sharing this to let you know that you see all these our big pastors, big papas, all of them they had their past. They had challenges. Because today now they are presenting themselves as though they don't they did not experience those things. There was no time they were Kana Christian, there was no time they were not matured Christian, there was no time they were falling and rising. It's not so. You know, there was no time they were so much in a hurry that they refused to listen to God and obey him. It's not so. And I believe that everyone that is a child of God, there's stages of growth. That at any stage, you have to go through what you have to go through there to pass to another stage. So if you are a child of God and you are going through some certain things, don't just look at yourself as though you are, uh, you know, you are not doing the right thing. That's why this is happening. Just that, just that you are still in a stage where you can experience what you are experiencing right now. And well, note that whatsoever you are experiencing, what is expected of you is to learn. Because if you don't get the message why you are going through what you are going through right now, on a serious note, you will remain there. You know, you can't move forward. And look at this, our papa. He talked about how he nearly made mistake in his marriage and what happened thereafter. I want you to hear him and please pick one or two things from there and make good use of it to help you. And that is the purpose for this video. Thank you so much. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do so, okay? Share this video to people and also like the video. And God Almighty will bless you. Please remain blessed and I see you next time. None of you will get wrongly married. The enemy shall not carry you into a world you don't want to be. You will not regret your relationship all through your life. Just get yourself spiritually built up. You'll be hearing the slightest sound from heaven on every issue of your life. On every issue of your life. I will have been wrongly married forever and pay for it forever. God just said, you are wrong. What? Thank you, Jesus. I had direct now listen to me. This young lady has divorced three times. Nobody could see that except the Lord. Imagine the cost of that to this ministry today. Imagine if this ministry had gone after. Whether the attack is from wherever I don't know, but it would have landed on me. None of us knows the future like the one who creates it. So let's connect with the one that creates the future. You may be given a job to do a business to start and it may not look like anything meaningful. But watch, tomorrow you're having thousands of people. Hundreds of thousands working in that same establishment. Just please build up spiritual. I read plenty of spiritual books. Plenty. I started building my own spiritual library since 1974. Maybe I, I told you here that I read eight books on marriage before we were married. As ordinary as meeting marriages, I read eight books. Four of them by Walter Trubbish. Eight books on marriage. What are you looking for? Looking for the best that God has in mind in marriage. At the end of the day, I came with an I, I came across an encounter that made me exclaim, "Now I'm set for each free marriage." As ordinary as marriages, some never read one book in life. They just with closed eyes. I do. In sickness, in death, in sorrow, in failure. I do. Why won't you be in sorrow and failure? Sir, 
I crafted what they read. You can't read nonsense on my life. Amen. Glory to God. There are things that would never fly for me in engagement. Never. In breaking covenant. I was a key player. Not that I sent somebody who go and represent me wrongly. Key player. When I was being ordained in Kaduna, you were telling us me, I hope I stood up and said, that man, no, this man was not this other man. I was saying, okay, okay, okay. All of you join your hand. So if I see his hand, I'll jump up. No, I have only one head. I don't have to. Don't spoil it. Like, it's only about life. Active enough to know what to not be. Can I passionately play with you? Don't toy with going into marriage. Don't toy with it. Don't toy with it. Don't close your eyes. My mama says, I agree. I agree on, is he going to live there? I agree on what? I agree on what? If you are not able to know where you should go, you are not ready for marriage. Papa who said I should marry you. I've never told him not to marry anybody in my life. Okay, open your eyes, open your mind, open your spirit. Know where you are going. After you have known, come, I pray for you. And if you got it wrong, it's you and that thing. Glory to God. Our biological children, I never got involved. And God knows. It's all about your responsibility. But if you miss it at that point, it's always uh, almost an recovery. make that kind of error. In your life, you will not make it. Therefore, protect your destiny. Protect your posterity. And protect your eternity. If that is not enough to warn you, I don't know what is going on. If I had missed that, I would have missed ministry. So you don't know what you are missing. You will miss what Hear what I told God. When the devil came to me, I will make sure you fall by fornication. I said, Lord, I said, you lie. I first replied, you lie, you bloody devil. And I said, God, if I die, it smack me with leprosy. I'm protecting my destiny. I'm protecting my posterity. I'm protecting my eternity. Therefore, disconnect with anything that can destroy your life. Disconnect from, disconnect today, not tomorrow. Disconnect today, not tomorrow. Disconnect today, not tomorrow. Disconnect today, not tomorrow. And I pray that none of you will miss your color in life. From the depth of my heart, I pray that none of you will miss your color in life. In the name of Jesus Christ.